are from green infrastructure to agritech, waste recovery to coastal protection. Singapore's engineers have an important role to play in tackling climate change. That's a message from Sustainability and Environment Minister Grace Fu at the 56th Annual Dinner of the Institution of Engineers Singapore, or IES. There is great potential for engineers like yourselves to lead and contribute in a significant way to Singapore's sustainability journey. Our investments in research and development in urban solutions and sustainability, in food security, in coastal and inland flood prote protection, in circularity, in urban heat, in built environment, offer many opportunities for engineers to contribute in and create impact. The event recognised the achievements of key industry players, including a team of engineers researching the use of plastic waste to make asphalt pavement. SMRT Chairman Xia Munming received the IES Lifetime Engineering Achievement Award for his contribution to the sector. And Senior Minister of State for Finance and Transport Chi Hong Tat was conferred an IES Honorary Fellow for his part in shaping the profession. The dinner also saw the launch of the IES Green Plan 2030, which lays out concrete steps for engineers to support Singapore's sustainability goals. A greeting today's engineers for tomorrow's buildings. Singapore's Engineering Society is offering a slew of training programs for members looking to specialise in sustainability. More than 130,000 engineers stand to benefit. It's part of the sector's new green plan to support the country's net zero ambition. Chloe Chu reports. Underneath the glitz and glamour of Singapore's famous super trees, engineering marvels are at play. From self-sustaining cooling systems to generating power from food or plastic waste, these offer a peek into Singapore's grand ambitions of a green future. One in which engineers must play a key part, says the Institution of Engineers Singapore, or IES. If they can incorporate all the sustainability uh, measures or practices within the design itself, then the, the building or the infrastructure will be sustainable. Later on at the maintenance stage, if they have designed in such a uh, uh, building that uh, actually help to save energy, how to conserve energy, how to reduce the waste and how to uh, reduce the requirement to tear down the entire building, that will also be helping the Singapore to achieve sustainability. To support this, IES's new roadmap aims to, among other things, equip engineers with more training in sustainability. Courses would provide more structure and focus in areas like decarbonisation and green infrastructure. For these programmes, IES will be partnering with more than 20 schools and government bodies, including JTC Corporation, NPARKS and the Singapore Institute of Technology, or SIT. Green energy, green buildings and the circular economy. These are just some sustainability courses the school has to offer. And it's part of a growing list as demand and interest from both students and the industry continue to go up. SIT says the partnership means they can both tap existing courses or launch new ones together. When we would like to train students in environmental sustainability, we need to make sure that they have the competencies, which includes uh, sustainability assessment, carbon management, circular economy, and even looking at how do you formulate policies. So students can expect to learn these horizontal skills that cuts across different verticals, different industry. Whether they go into the industry of manufacturing, hospitality, accountancy. More than just gaining knowledge, IES also plans to offer certification to recognize green qualifications and support technopreneurs and startups in the field of sustainability.